and then they're saying what's passive what's active what's leverage oh and they don't know the difference between sell and they don't know the difference between close and they're in a very safe very very safe space so they're asking all of these questions and sometimes the answers that they're getting are making them more confused than when mm. they started it it's okay not to know As well as copying, they need to dip their toes in the water because they need to understand if the person that they're copying is not doing what is right for them, they need to be educated enough to go, oh, Sharon's going crazy now. I'm out of that. But if they don't start, if they don't start to understand for themselves what they're doing, they won't know whether I'm no longer aligned or whether they should you know, follow, follow somebody else. So I think that they should really be inspired to make some of their own traits. Final two questions before we put this to a close. Um, as, we end, as we end the year, any, any final words for people who are watching this? Um, what would you want them to do? What, what, anything you want to leave them by? St a strategy, a tip, something, something that would inspire them? I want people to know that it's okay not to know stuff. So um, I've been working with um, some women investors who've been doing a competition. They all opened their virtual account. So loads of them opened a virtual account and they are having a competition to see who can make the most money in one month in their virtual account. And I've been helping them out with some questions. They know nothing, nothing at all. And they're somebody's people are trying to educate them and they're saying well you can get an ETF and the questions are what is an ETF and they'll say somebody will be saying well it's somewhere that's got passive you can either get a passive one or an active one and then they're saying what's passive what's active what's leverage oh and they don't know the difference between sell and they don't know the difference between close and they're in a very safe very very safe space so they're asking all of these questions and sometimes the answers that they're getting are making them more confused than when they started it it's okay not to know and what i do sometimes is that i think i have no idea what that means and i'll google i'll google it uh, like I didn't know, uh, I didn't know what tapering was. So I was hearing that the US government was tapering. I'm like, what's tapering? Google tapering. And I read it and I go, I don't understand what that means. So you go and you look for another post. You go, oh, okay, I under understood, I understand it now. And then there's a word in that and you go, oh, I don't know, what's quantitative easing? And then you go and have a look at that. And it's okay not to, it's okay not to know. Uh, it's okay to Google and if you don't understand it just find another source it's a bit like when you're looking at the weather <laughs> if the weather that you look at isn't good just look at a different weather forecast maybe that one's <laughs> better um, you don't need to understand how to read the balance sheet it's great if you learn to do that in the future but you do not have to know all of it up front and my little tip because I'll just leave, I'll leave us on this bit is in order to um, you would know but the audience may not know in order to when you get to be an elite popular investor you have to take an exam really really tough exam so we have to do um, a level three international investment management exam and it's it's really really difficult and you get sent this 400 page pdf that you have to consume and memorize and it is like memorizing you have to do stupid calculations without excel who would ever work out standard deviation without excel who would ever <laughs> work out standard deviation anyway but what I did, and this is this is my tip, this is my tip for people. If you don't already have a premium membership on LinkedIn, it's about $50 a month and it gives you access to all of their training. So what you can do is you can go and learn about economics and trading and reading balance sheets with this really cool learning on LinkedIn. So if you want to educate yourself, I would say forget the books. I mean, if people have got great books, fantastic. But if you find this difficult to consume, go onto LinkedIn for almost nothing and you have access to all of this training. And that's what I did when I was doing the exam. I would read a page and I'd go, I've got no idea what I just read there. Hang on, let me read it again. I still have no idea what I just read. 
So I would go over to LinkedIn and I would search for what it was and I would watch this LinkedIn video and I go, oh, completely got it. I would go back and I would read the text and I go, I have no idea why I didn't understand that the first time because it's plain, it's plain. So um, if, you, if you want to learn, I think that LinkedIn is a great resource for a very low cost. Got it. See, I'm learning something new. I've been a premium member for LinkedIn no for quite a time, but I've never, never used that. <laughs> um, there's, there's two American, there's two American professors on there that that teach economics in Harvard University, and they will tell you all about valuations. In it's so straightforward. They'll go. This is this is Target. This is Walmart. This is Ford. This is General Motors, and they'll show you. It's, it's, it's good, and you can do you can do twenty minutes. Okay, you can say um, I just want to learn a little bit today. I'm sat waiting for the bus, or I'm waiting for my next Teams call, or whatever. And you can say I'm just going to learn about economics for twenty minutes, and you start, and you go, Wow, okay, it's an hour and a half, and you get a certificate. You get a certificate that you can take to an employer and you can say, yes, I know about economics. Yes, I know about financial accounting. I can't believe you didn't know that was there. It's great. I, I, I actually I actually got my LinkedIn because you get the PM different people with, with the premium account. That's one of the reasons why I, 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 I liked it. But I see, I, I've learned something very, very interesting on top of uh, all of the investment things that we talked about. <laughs> um, this is something that I normally do before I end uh, whatever whatever question and answer. I, I'm flipping the tables. If you have one question that you would want to ask me, uh, what is, what would it be and why? And then we put everything to a close. Why did you start doing? Why did you start doing this? It it started out. I would just upload all of my TV interviews uh, in YouTube as a repository, and then. Uh, it turned out that if when people had questions about a certain topic, it would be easier for me not to explain it to them. Just I, I'd send them a link. Oh, just watch, just watch this. It's just me uh, explaining it as well. Um, then I think in 2018 we had a trip to Iceland, and I wanted to uh, get the Northern Lights. So I was thinking that I I may need a, smash, a special camera to do that. So. I, I said to myself, if I'm buying a special camera, I might as well buy something that allows me to uh, take videos. Then, while, while I was there, it, it felt amazing because when you when you go to a TV interview, you'd spend 30 or an hour just to go there. You get interviewed for 15 minutes and you go back. Uh, whereas right now, YouTube, Facebook, you have the liberty to say whatever you want, wherever you are with unlimited length. And it's it's your it's your own context, and it, it started from that. And I guess it's part of my personality that uh, I I like investing, but I'm the type of person that when I'm investing, I like to share it to uh, yeah. other people. It's what it's what makes it uh, it's what makes it fun. So every time, for example, I analyze something new, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading something. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, let me let me tweet that. So uh, to answer your question, the channel has been there for over a decade, but it used to be wow. just old TV interviews. Uh, it has been just consistent uploads like this uh, when, when I when I bought the camera just a couple of years back. So and do people recognize you? So in the uh, Philippines, do people recognize you? I, I, I guess to those who are into invest, investments, but generally speaking, uh, similar to what's happening around the world, it, it, investing is not as sexy as if you're into fashion, you're a sports star, or you're doing other... Uh, other stuff as well so maybe maybe to those who are really into investing but other than that uh i, I think it's very very uh niche as well <laughs> no free food then you haven't got a free food <laughs> no free oh, food. From, from time to time I, 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 I guess. <laughs> i've got i've i've had i've had a box of mints from etoro mm, wow <laughs> breath mints I, wow. i've had breath mints from etoro Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> and and I got a lanyard. I got a lanyard and and, and I'm I did see them. I, I did see that they have backpacks. I'm trying to get a hold of an eToro backpack somehow. So you know, if anybody from eToro is watching this, send me a backpack. <laughs> got it, Sharon. You've been an amazing sport. It's always uh, fun talking about you. And for those who don't know about Sharon, 
I'll put the links in the description below. Number one for Toro for those who want to copy or her, or if you want to follow her thoughts, I'll put in LinkedIn her LinkedIn profile also below, so uh, you get to interact with her as well. So there. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it down below, and I don't know, maybe we'll answer it when Sharon comes back again. I don't, I don't, I don't know when Sharon's super, 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 super uh, busy. <laughs> We'll, we'll do it in a year. We'll do it in a year's time. Okay. And we'll so, be able to look back and go, oh, well, when all that COVID stuff went. Yeah. So please make your questions not time sensitive because if we're revisiting it in a year, it has to be still relevant at that time. But put them down. Um, we talked a lot about different stocks right here. Um, the best decision that you could ever make in investing is something that you study on your own. Don't just buy anything just because it's talked about here. Because at the end of the day, it's all about your conviction. It's all about uh, you get know, get know knowing what you're getting into. And I guess that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo with Sharon Connolly. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you. Bye.